the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. On this last Sunday of Advent, Holy Church leads her children out into the wilderness to hear the preaching of John the Baptist. Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight his paths, he cries. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low. The crooked shall be made straight, and every eye shall see salvation from our God. For our Savior is coming, and he will not delay. Two great obstacles, however, stand in his way. These are our own sinfulness and our pride. Nonetheless, our Master, the spouse of our souls, is coming, and he will let nothing stand in the way of his awesome, all-consuming love. St. John the Baptist urges us to repent of our sinfulness. In the collect of this Mass, we beseech the Almighty that what is hindered by our sins may be hastened by his merciful goodness. May we not be counted among the offspring of vipers condemned by the Baptist in St. Luke's Gospel, but rather let us bring forth fruits that are worthy of penance. In explaining this phrase of the Gospel, St. Gregory the Great expounds that if we have committed some serious sin, let us then repent. And if we have not, then we are not bound to make reparation. But let's face it, we are all sinners. So let us go ahead and make reparation for our sins and the sins of others by offering up our little sacrifices and abstinences from lawful pleasures. And so the valleys of our sinfulness will be filled in. The second and greatest obstacle to our Lord's coming is our pride. These mountains and hills must be brought low if our divine master is to find room in our hearts at his coming. During Advent, Holy Church places the humility of the Baptist before our eyes to spur us on to follow his example. He who at the pronouncement of the Savior has no equal born of men accounts himself as nothing but the voice of one crying out, unworthy to unlatch the strap of the master's shoe. The word humility comes from the Latin humilitas, from humus, meaning the ground beneath us. Humility is the just appreciation for what we truly are. And in fact, we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. St. Thomas Aquinas teaches that the virtue of humility consists in keeping oneself within one's own bounds, not reaching out to things above one, but submitting to one's superior. If the valleys, that is the deficiencies, are to be filled up by love, then the mountains and hills, that is the vain pretenses of our pride, must be made low by humility. We must have a just estimation of ourselves. We are indeed sinners, and we must humbly submit to God, acknowledging our sinfulness and begging God for his forgiveness and his mercy. The truly humble man sees himself for who he truly is and is not cast down, but rather is lifted up, for he counts upon God rather than upon himself. Ubi humilitas, ibi majestas. Where there is humility, there is majesty. For the abyss of our misery calls down the abyss of God's goodness. The abyss calls the abyss, as we read in the psalm. St. Francis de Sales explains that it is the prideful man who rejects God's grace. For even though he may acknowledge his nothingness, he trusts in himself and thus refuses to undertake the great work of repentance. God's will is that we should be perfect, uniting ourselves to him, and imitating him to the utmost of our powers. The proud man who trusts in himself may well undertake nothing, but the humble man is all the braver that he knows his own helplessness, and his courage waxes in proportion to his low opinion of himself, because all his trust is in God, who delights to show forth his power in our weakness and his mercy in our misery. Let us then cast ourselves into the abyss of this mercy. Christ came down from heaven 2,000 years ago out of love for us, and he continues to come to visit our souls by his grace 
out of pure love. Let us then return love for love. Love is repaid by love. This is the motto which has made saints and spurred a multitude of souls to greater generosity. May Mary Immaculate and St. John the Baptist intercede for us. With their help, may we each be able to pray. Love will fill the valleys in my heart, and humility will level its mountains and hills. Destroy my pride, arrogance, and vanity, O Lord, by the powerful fire of your love. By the might of your all-powerful arm, tear out from my heart every fiber which is infected with the poison of self-love, and which, therefore, does not belong to you. O Lord, I too wish to decrease, decrease that you may increase in me, so that on Christmas Day you may find my heart entirely empty and free, and therefore ready for the total invasion of your divine love. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell to be notified of future videos.